This is actually called Mohammed Salah Youth Club. I am here in Cairo, Egypt, and I'm on a special mission today. I am heading to Mo Salah's hometown here in Egypt. I am actually currently staying in downtown. Like my tour guide said, it's going to take approximately two hours for us to get to his village using a private car, but using the bus, which is what he did, he used a local bus, it took three hours to get from his village to downtown Cairo, three hours to go back. Um, what a long day he had every time he came here to the city for football. Mosala's dad would give him 20 Egyptian pounds to come here, nine pounds on the bus from his village to Cairo, nine pounds back, and then he would have the leftover for just a small meal usually koshari because it's like really inexpensive and it's just like an incredible story that he's come from this background and has become such a worldwide celebrity you know like he's one of the best football players in the world he's my personal favorite and the entire country is in love with him as you can see from my videos that i'm publishing from egypt when I wear his scarf or wear his shirt, everyone wants to talk to me. Um, everyone loves him. And he's just such an incredible, humble guy. And I look forward to seeing what he's done and the developments he's done in his own village ever since he's become such a celebrity and such a, an amazing football player. As you can see, it's actually kind of raining a little bit here. I never thought I would see rain in Egypt before. We're driving through this right now. It's more green. I'm actually really surprised to see this. Uh, my tour guide was explaining to me um, how it's more green here. There's farms that grow fruit and cotton. The weather here in the Delta is a little bit cooler. Right now I see green already out the window um, and I guess I'm gonna see a lot more greenery. All right guys, so we are about 45 minutes from Mohammed Salah's village. We stopped just to take a quick rest. We're gonna get something to eat when we get there. We're gonna go see um, outside of his family home, his school, where he played football. I cannot wait. So we are really close to his village, just a few minutes away. And while we're driving, there's this little tiny shop that has a painting of Mo Salah on the side. So I asked the driver if we can stop and take a quick video and photo. <laughs> this is so cool, I wasn't even expecting this. Marhaba. Marhaba, marhaba. What? That's, this is yours? Why are you? This is his? <laughs> Mohammed Salah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Shukran. Hey, shukran. Shukran. Can you tell them that I love Egypt? I've been here four times. I love Egypt four times. I love Egypt four times. Yeah, it's a good country. <laughs> Okay, we're here. We're here in his village. I'm so excited to get out and just like walk around. This is so cool. And it is so different than like being in a major city. Okay guys, I'm here just outside of his football club where he played as a child. Um, there's actually a Liverpool sign just outside. So this is actually called Mohammed Salah Youth Club. Um, and there's like a whole bunch of children coming up here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hold on one second. This is the school you're yes, saying? Yes, yes. Wow. Yes. He's lived here maybe 11 years. He's lived here maybe 11 years. And uh, this is school. Mr. Ahmed is manager for this school and he's before social worker for Muhammad Salah. Oh my god. Yes. What's your name? Carrie. Carrie. From yes. where? I'm from America, from America. USA. Welcome. Yes. Thank Welcome. you so much. I love I love Liverpool yes. and I love Very Mo nice. Salah. Very nice. Very nice. Look at this. Yeah, no. <laughs> Mohammed Salah. <laughs> Look at this! Wow, this is so crazy. I have like a million new friends. Hi, Mohammed Salah. This is so cool, guys. Mohammed Salah. Mohammed Salah. Yeah, Kerry. Can you? Okay, I'm coming. So, now I guess we're going to his school.
few seconds and then they said no more video, but that's okay. We're gonna rock around the village now with my hundred new friends. Ahmed from Captivating Egypt received permission through the local government so I could visit Mo Salah's village. We had the permission documents with us, however, the police asked us to leave. Unfortunately, many of the school children were crowding around our car and to maintain order, the local police officer politely asked us if we could leave. The initial plan was to visit Mohammed Salah's family home and a few other places in the village, but we immediately changed our plans. Instead of continuing to explore Mohammed Salah's village, we were invited to eat lunch lunch with a local family. In the rest of this video, I'll share my experience of visiting a local family's home and experiencing some of the best hospitality ever on any of my travels. Marhaba! Welcome! Sh That's you! Shukran! Katie. Abdul Salam. Abdul Salam. His son Mustafa. Mustafa speaks English. Him Mustafa. Him. Yeah, he was speaking English. You right? Good. How are you? Your English is really good. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's good. No, no, no. So now Mustafa will drive and we will follow him here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Bye. Mohammed Salah. <laughs> So these two villages, including Mohammed Salah's village and this village, belong to Basun, which is the town. And this is where we're going to have lunch. Welcome to Habratana, the kids and the family waiting for us. Yes. <laughs> Hello, I said they're all so beautiful. Yeah. Shukran. <laughs> Should I take off my shoes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Marhaba. Oh, okay. Wife? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How do I? I wanted to give you guys this as a gift. It's Mohammed Salah's turn. Uh, you want to give it to who? Whoever. All of them. I mean, I said, just it's for the house. You could put it somewhere in the house. Yeah. Yay! I like it on her. She looks good. Yeah. What? Oh yeah. Yeah. I heard he was telling me. These are beautiful. Yeah. Hello, mama. Me did that. Wow. So good. Wow, this looks excellent. Oh, mm -hmm. let me try. Okay. Oh, shukran. Oh. Okay, I'm going to try one of these. Mmm, so good. It's like grape leaf, but I think it's called olive leaf here with rice inside of it. It's so good. I love this. <laughs> And these are called like, uh, so it's like grape leaves with like yes, with uh, rice. rice. Okay, yeah. So this would be typical food if you have guests over. My favorite, my personal favorite, is these like cabbage rolls with um, rice. How do you? What is this called in um, Arabic? Mashi. Mashi? I thought this one was mashi. This one as well. Oh, so they're both called mashi. Anything is topped with rice for Everyone here watch. Mosel at like Liverpool play every single time. Everyone, yes. Every time, every game. Every game. I'm eating. I'm eating. I'm eating. I'm just interested. You understand? Yeah. He really wants me to eat that. He really, he really wants me to eat the chicken. What? Oh no no, last shukran. Try it without meat. Oh, it's without meat. Yeah. No, I can't eat food. <laughs> That's crazy! It's crazy! Yes! <laughs> yeah! You, she looks wonderful! I'm gonna get the <laughs> I love this tea. So you understand English? Some? Yeah. A little. A little. I know Ingrizi, Arabi, um, Habibi, Shikran, Afwan, Marhaba. That's Arabi. Shikran, Afwan, Marhaba. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, see, yeah. Assalamu alaikum. It's important. Ramadan Karim. 
No, I don't, I've heard that, but I don't know really well. But it's important to learn some words. Just, you know, it's very polite and very nice if I can say some words, you know? Just like, marhaba, shukran, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like I mentioned before, in this part of Egypt, it's very, very green outside. And it just looks so different because I'm so used to just seeing desert. <laughs> so there are um, two people out there farming and we, I shouted Mahaba, I said hello. And they finally saw us and then she's like, the woman's like, come on, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> People are so friendly, they're so nice. <laughs> All right, we're going down a little adventure here in the neighborhood. Let's see who else we meet here. With all my new friends. So, because I was shouting Marhaba to the neighbors back there who were farming, she was like, the neighbor, she was like, come, come, come. She asked like 10 or 20 times, I don't know. <laughs> so we're gonna go say hi, even though I don't think we're gonna be able to communicate with each other, but it's just gonna be marhaba, face to face. We've got the cows here. Marhaba cows, so we went over and met some of the neighbors, but since I can't really communicate, just one or two words we're using to communicate, <laughs> like beautiful or hello. So I didn't know if it was okay to film because some people don't like to be in videos and we were meeting a whole family or actually we met several families. So I didn't take a video, but everyone in this neighborhood is so nice here. So I'm having some Egyptian tea. In the village, it's really good and Arabs drink a lot of tea in general. Every country I've been to, Iraq, Lebanon, Egypt, doesn't matter, they drink a lot of tea. But the neighbors were so nice back there. Of kids, yeah, I saw. Yeah, they wanted photos. <laughs> They were like, uh, I don't know what they were saying, but she was, the woman was like, oh, you're beautiful. And she was like kissing, like, Mwah, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Bye, shukran, shukran. Thanks for watching this video from Mosala's hometown. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button. Next week, I'll share a video from Alexandria, Egypt, where I ate the best falafel ever and met a lot of friendly locals in the city.